I never got bullied, but you get those remarks and all that shit. You don't want to fight, have to fight because of your fucking, because you want to wear a t-shirt. Just because you're expressing yourself. That's because you're trying to do something different. Niggas is getting on you. Right? Niggas is literally like hating on people for trying to express themselves. Right? It's not even cool. I'm from the projects, like, I'm from Stanley Isaacs, 93rd and 1st, like, it's, it's lit, it's regular hood shit every day, niggas selling drugs, niggas getting shot, niggas fighting, animosity, a bunch of hating niggas, you feel me? I'm glad I'm not around that shit no more. What up, this is on the comic. So small, I, this city mall. You watch your noisy rap. Bitch. One for the day, two for the fame, three for the name, four to the grave. I was born in Brazil. I came here when I was two. I'm like from Harlem and shit, but I lived everywhere. I lived, my mom's lived there. I lived everywhere, but like me, I'm really from like, from Harlem, you know what I'm saying? I said I'm from Harlem, cause I did, that's why I did all my dirt. You know what I'm saying? Call my cases out and shit. I'm from Long Island. I'm from, um, I'm from Bayshore. That's just middle of nowhere, the suburbs. My neighborhood, it was mostly white. There was like a trailer park there. It was lit, but nobody listened to like rappers and shit, unless it was Eminem or like Tech Nine or something. So I kind of listened to what everybody else listened to, you know, Corn, Slipknot, fucking Gorilla Biscuits, shit like that, Deftones. I was in like a little punk band before, like a long time ago, like all the high school, all that. We sucked, all that cool stuff. We, we performed at places that were like, oh, let's go perform at the co coffee shop and see what, if we can do it, because I got an open mic. I was a vocalist, so it was like, I didn't change my voice when I rapped, so it already sounded kind of cool. Well, people, people around me thought it was cool, but you know, everybody else didn't. They, you know, we got a lot of shit just for using our vocals how we want to in rap songs. No matter how lyrical you are, no matter if I write the best song, people will get on you for screaming your vocals. We met through P. P um, used to work at this tattoo shop. He was in jail while we, when we started this shit. So, Right when he came back, we just started making music. That's my little brother. <coughs> I knew him my whole life. Um, I didn't know he wanted to rap though. He would send me tracks every day. And eventually, I would just listen to him myself, and then I started playing them out loud for people like on the block in Bushwick. And everyone was like, yo, he's nice, like he could dead rap. And that kind of gave me confidence to be like, yo. At, at first, I didn't expect him to be like, want to be the star, because he, he was similar to me, like low, he don't really show himself like that, you know? But he came on deck, started writing for an artist I was working with, hmm. and um, that didn't work out. So he's like, yo, bro, I can do this shit myself. Like, I can rap, you know? And now we here, you feel me? Yeah, I was talking to this nigga every day when I was locked up, you feel me? And I think that was, when he got locked up, that was like the the nail in the coffin. Like, all right, I'm, I'm off the street shit. I really have to do something where I could be here for my daughter. And if anybody wants to change their life positively, like I said, I'm gonna I'm give my 110%. And he came home, we both gave 190%, you feel me? And now we here. When you're a trap nigga, you definitely stressed because you were always thinking like, damn, I can't do this shit forever, you feel me? When I was getting money, I was that nigga on my side, in my hood, like, I ran that shit, you feel me, at that time, so. It was lit, but I'm saying a lot of shit came with that shit. Went to in and out of jail, cases, mad bullshit, beef. You know what I mean? Mad bullshit come with that shit. I'm just I'm glad that shit. That shit is a past. You feel me? Fuck that shit now. Like that shit was cool for the time, but past that now. Especially if you got talent, you don't want to be a waste of time. I always told myself too, like that last time I was in jail, especially I was talking to P. I'm like, yo, damn, I really got to come home and do this rap shit. Like my son P gonna help me. He gonna fuck with me. 
I'm really gonna do this shit and like fuck the street shit. Like I came home this time, bro. Like my, even my mom's a shock because. I've just been hustling my whole life. I come from jail first day, I'm back on the block trapping, you feel me? This time I was not doing that. Like I just came home, I was fake broke, you know what I'm saying? We still finesse, you know what I'm saying? Niggas do what they do, you feel me? But we still made it work. People report our shit, bro. People be reporting our shit. Yeah, niggas is bitches. Niggas, be, we can post pictures and they report our pictures, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas hate on us, bro. bro. Bro, I had a picture of, my, of one of my new girls and that shit got taken down. Facts. And I was just like, what? It was my face disturbing? Did I break the, the cap, like the guidelines? What's going on? We out here. Fuck you, me. When the doors come out, we ain't playing that shit. My niggas. When you see everything every day, and you know, see crazy shit every day, you you'd rather document it than just let it go fall to the wayside. I'd rather document real life instead of making a little clean video. Yeah, that shit's like our lifestyle. When you see the vids, it's like we live that shit. You feel me? That's basically what it was. He lived it in like the urban type of way, like crack, all that shit. And I lived it in suburban where niggas, your friends are dying from heroin overdoses all the time. Like my hood, everybody was doing that shit. They was smoking dust. You feel me? I'm from Harlem. That shit is big in Harlem. You feel me? Niggas dipping cigs, niggas smoking <coughs> the um, fucking leaf shit. It coming to like the leaf, you gotta crush it up. You know what I'm saying? It's already sprayed with the bomber. Like, that shit just. From my neighborhood type of shit, like niggas was doing that shit, you feel me? Young niggas, smoking that shit, chilling though. People thought that we were glorifying it, which is not, not it. But you know, and then other people understood that this is a documentary. In a documentary, what are you gonna do? Take the dude shooting out in a heroin documentary? Shooting up in a heroin documentary? Like, then it's not real anymore. Then you lost all your, everything. Shannon's got taken down like three to four times. 33rd Black got taken down once. We weren't sitting there like, oh shit, we're gonna shock the world. Nah, bro, it's like we finally made a music video, let's drop it. Like, that was literally the vibe. It was like a blessing for me, you know what I mean? And we, it was literally like some shit we put together when we, we was hopeless, like we had no hope, you feel me? And money doesn't mean shit, cause like he made help, he had money in the street. That shit don't mean nothing if you're not doing what you love to do. You right. feel me? Like, yeah. and we was living that shit every day, so it wasn't scary to us. Yeah. And we like, we was on World Star watching fight videos and all. I'm like, oh, they showing it. We gonna show our life too. Yeah. And it, it 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 definitely woke us up. You know what I mean? We didn't expect it to get that crazy with the police and all that stuff. But me, my personal goal is to give like kids something cool to, to, to see. Like when I grew up, it was like NERD, all that shit was like great. That changed my life. Like the clips, whatever Pharrell was doing at the time. Um, then Tyler, that shit changed my whole life. So I want to change this kid's life, you know what I mean? Like give them cool shit to look at, cool shit to listen to. Righteous P, Kari Ultra CEO. He's the, the fine tuner, as in if we bring something, like some cool shit, he's gonna fine tune it to make it perfect. If he sees something that's wavy, he's gonna fine tune that to make it perfect. Since I was little, everyone knew we was gonna be lit. Like, I can't say I was like, no one believed in me. Even in my high school, people, it was like, yo, you gonna be, you gonna figure it out, bro. It don't matter how like tough something is, once you get what you wanted, you forget about how hard it was. But it, it's definitely fun working with like my blood brother, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Are you gonna be sad with a gun and a skateboard? Can you be sad? Not when you a kid. With a like rifle and a skateboard, like <laughs> skateboarding, like I was having a good old time. My favorite vocalist of all time is Corey Taylor, because Fucking, bro, he was rapping, and then he sings like, like good ass songs. You hear snuff, and you're like, yo, this is good. Then you hear like Stone Sour, and you're like, oh, this is crazy. And then you can go back to make Slipknot shit and borderline rapping. But that's that's like versatility. Henry Rollins, they're all hailing and shit, but they're gonna keep going. Anybody who influenced me, even Jonathan Davis, might even get a tat. The rock community actually likes me, which is weird. You can just watch mad YouTube videos and learn how to scream. My mom was a singer, so there's that. Like, I know about like 
using your diaphragm and all that stupid shit. But there's proper ways to do everything that doesn't hurt you. I don't even care about changing niggas' lives, but broadening their mind. And it's always gonna be people that we don't like, they might not like us, we don't like them, but like, you feel me? Like, we're trying to get to this money, bro, and put out good music. That's it, that's all we gonna do. Yeah, we about to be that new deal, man. We about to be the biggest, hottest fucking label in this shit, you feel me? Like, we about to take over, bro. Simple as that, we taking over, we signing niggas, all of that, so it's about to be lit, you feel me? Kari Ultra. New yes, guest, add roll. Oh, there you go. There you go. You could add um something in there. there we go.